First off, I wanted to show the uh, power unit and equipment that I use to uh, do all my testing. The power unit itself is a 430 watt, 30 amp power supply that came out of a computer. And I reconfigured it, modified it to where I could use it for my power supply on all my uh, servo testers and related RC equipment. I also use it to uh, power up my battery chargers. It, uh, of course, it has the 12 volt and 5 volt output, so uh, I have the capabilities of hooking my battery chargers up and using it for that purpose too. A handy little uh, tester to have is the uh, Turnigy CCPM Servo Consistency Master. It, uh, it's a pretty handy little servo uh, tester. Uh, it has to be powered up by 5 volts. And uh, what I use is a D-Link router power module to power it. I just simply cut the coaxial DC power plug off of it and uh, soldered on a, a servo connector and got her plugged in and working great. Here I show how I control the servos with the tester. Uh, you can set it on manual to where you can adjust all the servos. And then I go to neutral, which centers the servos. And then the last one is auto, where it'll set there and cycle the servos. The uh, Turnigy servo driver again requires a 5 volt input and uh, basically it's a manual. It, you, have to set, you have to set the uh, controls of the servos manually. It does, it will center them, but it has no auto function on it. Here I have my GWS MT1 multi-tester working in conjunction with my uh, servo analyzer. It's my uh, primary tester and the one that I use on uh, all my tests now on servos, e-tracks, just about everything. In function 3 it will cycle the servos in a continuous cycle which is really handy for breaking in new servos especially metal, metal geared ones it will also uh, detect a bad servo before you ever install it I found this function to be really handy when I had uh, the, the uh, servos hooked up the control surfaces it especially came in handy when I was setting up the flaps on my FMS Corsair so that I could cycle them to see, uh, make sure everything was going to work okay. In this last frame you'll see where I went back to function 1 and checked the uh, top, mid, and low endpoints. Function 1 is real handy uh, when I went to set up the landing gear on the FMS Corsair. Uh, I can control it by uh, using function 1. The MT1 came in real handy when I was uh, setting up the landing gear on my FMS version 3 P51. It was uh, really a help when I was setting up the DSR46 Titan landing gear with the uh, inner bay doors. Uh, in conjunction with the micro gear sequencer, uh, I could I was able to set all my delays and speed functions using the uh, MT1. Same thing uh, with my uh, FMS B25 Tondaleo. It was really handy setting up the landing gear on it. Again, using the uh, function 1 on the MT1, uh, it was real handy setting up 
uh, my various light systems, navigational light systems on my various planes. Uh, I could control here, you can see where I can control the landing lights on and off uh, just by setting uh, endpoints. The tester was really handy when I was setting up the navigation lights on my uh, Starmax P51 uh, using the uh, Laser Toys LED light system. Here I'm using the MT1 servo tester to uh, test the functions of uh, E-Tracks. Here I'm using the uh, MT1 in conjunction with my servo analyzer to check the voltage and the amp draw of the new FMS e-tracks that they just came out with here recently. Another handy feature to have one of these uh, servo testers is the ability to check out your motors, ESCs, the combination. Uh, prop balancing, in the case of the very prop you can adjust pitch and check your amp draws. There's just a lot of things you can do on a, like here I have a makeshift dolly or a dyno that I built and I can run through all my tests before I ever do an installation into an airplane. Uh, as you can tell I've had the uh, prop removed just for safety reasons for this demonstration. But here's what you can do with it. I have this, uh, I have my MT1 multi-tester here and I've got it set on mode 4 so I can adjust speed with the dial. I hope this video has been helpful in demonstrating some of the many functions possible using a good servo tester in the process of prepping your plane for flight. I personally couldn't imagine not having one in my own toolbox.